What's up? What's up, guys? Hello again. Um, yes, I am in fact still warring over Immortal Thieves, as well, of course, with Buy Forever. I did just join the Buy Forever family on my main account. I did keep a maxed out 10 over here in Immortal Thieves as well, because Immortal Thieves are still rebuilding. They just want to rebuild in the shadows. A little bit less media attention, unless, of course, we get you know victory like this one. Um, something I do want to showcase that I, mean, I almost had to showcase. This is my first ever fresh 10v10 six pack not just a 10v10 six pack but a fresh both attacks were fresh it was just probably the greatest feeling I ever have at the same time i've got to say this has to be the most op meta out there this this meta right here a lot of people are going to say it and i say it myself there's really not a whole lot of skill involved with what with the attack comp i'm about to show you and you know what it's at the end of the day people all people care about is the w the W that gets put on the board, that green line in your clan warlog is that is that victory, that win. So as you guys can see here, there it is, bam, 10v10 six pack. So, so we're gonna go ahead and just dive straight into the first attack. And if you guys are just asking yourselves, what is this comp that's just so OP meta wise for 10v10, what is he using? Cause guys, keep in mind, let me actually, you know what? Let me show you war vents real quick. Look at this, hold on. Look how quick, far apart, literally. I, I forgot to mention this, guys, look. 56 minutes left in war, 45 minutes left in war. Do the math. Look how much time was spent between two attacks. Look how much time was spent between two attacks. And it's, I still got it. Still got the six pack. So just goes to show how OP this comp is. Mass Miner. I'm sure you guys already knew it. I'm sure you guys already guessed. So we're just going to dive straight in. We're not going to have to do a whole terrible amount of analysis. I will say before I hit play, um, something to look at whenever you're doing this. You can't just do this on any base. Obviously not. Um, this is not one of those comps that you can just go in and just, just YOLO on anything. So what I do look at is things like how far apart the Inferno Towers are. You can see, boom, boom, they're not going to overlap. Because Miners, you obviously can't heal underneath the Inferno, especially since you got a level 3 one here. Um, so you've got to keep them far enough apart so they're not going to overlap each other and just roast your Miners. And then I kind of look at things like Heroes, where they're located. If the Hero Circle is within that inferno tower i mean it's still manageable i'm not saying it's impossible but something to kind of keep it keep mindful of is your miners will get pulled to a hero before they path over to an inferno tower so if it's behind it but that's perfect that means you're going to hit the inferno tower and then path into uh, a hero or royal and then also kind of look at positioning of various splash damage as you can see the splash on the outside here something that that outside flanking miners can take care of before even going into an inferno tower if there's wizzy stockpiled in on an inferno then it's just gonna be it's gonna be brutal and then of course where the uh the higher hp buildings are so you look at hp buildings obviously there's none in front of this one um so that means the miners just gonna take out those those first first three defenses and go straight into that inferno tower and then i believe i forget where i hit from i think it was from the let me take a look real quick okay it was i had a feeling because looking at it i wouldn't want to put my miners up against this higher hp going into that inferno tower whereas this one and there is none however be mindful of the town hall it's all it's extremely rare for me to hit a base where the town hall is hit early on and a mass minor usually i wait i hit the bases or i hit it where the town hall is on the opposite side so that way most of the base most of the splash is already cleared and i'm not getting a bunch of miners getting held up on a town hall um, whereas this case i put the king on that side so that way he can clear that he can put out work on this higher hp building uh first before the miners path over there to it and then I also have a king on the outside here. So we're going to go ahead and hit play on this. I just kind of want to give you a little bit of an overview on what it is I looked at in the base to tell myself, okay, this base can be mass minored fresh. Um, and the next key point is you're going to see a Hound Loon coming out of the CC. Hound Loon means minor that nonsense. Just easy peasy. All you have to do is take out that Loon that comes out with the with the Hound. As you can see, bam, I dropped the poison spell. Sometimes you'll actually be able to catch Skellies. I'm going to hit pause. You see Skellies. Generally on these type of base layouts, there's almost always a ground skelly next to the Inferno Tower. And then it's generally right in the same pathing way as the Loon. So I like to catch both at the same time. I wasn't quite able to do it this time, but it still worked out for the best. Uh, but generally you want to kind of try and see if you can lure that Loon over where the skellies will pop out. So you can kill two birds with one stone, essentially. And you'll see as the uh, kind of get a little bit closer, I drop the next heal spell to keep that, that left-handed flank going, especially with the, with the Hound over there. And then, of course, you see that next set of uh, skellies pop out. I saved that second poison just for them. I knew there would be one. Remember, guys, this is a fresh base. I didn't know where any of the traps were. I just 
knowing this type of base layout, I knew they would have to have a ground skelly over there because uh, this base is just begging to be mass minored. So I stood by on that poison spell and then just absolutely wrecked the base. We'll go ahead and do times two here because when you see that many miners left, and even, even when you're king, guys, when your king is still alive at the end of the attack, you know you just beasted that base. We're going to do times four, wrecked it. Not only that, I don't have any heal, heal healers, excuse me. And the king was about max health up until the end. Holy cow, brutally wrecked. All right, so we're going to back out. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Just dive straight into my second attack. My second fresh 10v10. Dive straight into it. All right, so this one was a little bit trickier. This was a little bit more tricky. Um, which actually, which side did I drop my king? Okay, I went to the top side. Okay, that's what I had a feeling. All right, so the reason why I chose this side, I was I almost went between the between the nine o'clock and the six, but the reason why I went twelve to twelve to nine is because as you can see, the higher HP buildings are over to the right side of it, so that way the uh, the opportunity for miners to pass straight into the first inferno tower is a lot higher. Uh, and able to clear it and lose a lot less miners. And plus the back end, I wanted the back end Inferno Tower to be the lower level one, level one Inferno. That means the miners should have no problem clearing to it. And then back end, the, uh, the higher HP will be behind it. So after the Inferno Tower is cleared, that's when they're gonna have to worry about these higher HP buildings. And then of course, Town Hall backside. Like I said before in that last attack, I always like to have the Town Hall at the very end of the attack. So that way most of the base is cleared. I'm not gonna have miners getting held up on higher HP buildings. And then look at this. The left-handed flank should be able to take out most of the splash and heals. Just one heal spell over that. That's that's four Wizzy Towers just cleared. Bam. Easy peasy. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. Um, I went king on the top side because I wanted the miners to be able to get into this Inferno Tower. Whereas the queen here, hoping that we're best case scenario, she takes out the king and grabs this Wizzy Tower. I, just, I feel like I get more value from the queen on that side. So I went ahead and spammed it. Also, guys, something I didn't, I've been meaning to actually show you. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but whenever I actually drop my miners, I take all four fingers and I just all the way across. I, there's no, I don't particular, I don't pick specific buildings. I literally get all four fingers, touch it on the iPad, and then just all over that top side, all over that top side. Look at that. Just and then that's how you get that even spread. That right there. If you take anything. If you take anything from my how-to videos, essentially, or these replays, or whatever, what, what have you, it's how to deploy miners. That is the number one way to do it. I'm gonna hit times two because things are just going crazy. Actually, earlier I said before, drop a poison where the where the loon's gonna path, and generally those skellies in the uh, inferno tower, and they did. I was able to get that. I was able to catch that poison. A la Skellies. Look at that again. Poison a la Skellies a la Inferno Tower. <laughs> at this point, I was a little bit scared. As you can see, I don't really have a, a 3 o'clock flank anymore. However, as soon as they spread like that there at the end, I was like, okay, this is GG. This is done. This is finished. Two time. Two time 10v10 triple occurring. And that was this glorious feeling. I can't, guys, I just, I can't express enough how good of a feeling it is. Not only just to get a 10v10 triple, obviously, but not only that, but to get two of them. And then not only that, but get, to get two of them fresh. It's just, ugh. Needless to say, I had a pretty, pretty fantastic evening after this was, was executed, after this was done. It felt, it felt nice. It felt right. So we're going to go ahead and do times, times four now. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I had to. I know. I know they're just mass miners, but you know what? At the end of the day, that's six stars getting put up on the board. And when people when people look at the scoreboard at the end, when they look at those green lines in your war log, they're not like, "All right, what comp did he use to get those stars?" They say, "No, how many? How many stars did they win by?" And that's what really matters. And honestly, if you're brand new to Town Hall 10 and you're sitting there, you're you're wanting to be able to contribute to your clan, you're wanting to be able to put stars on the board. This is one of those ways to do it. While you're still learning, while you're still FCing your clan mates at the end, just, just mash my that, that, that nonsense, you know? So anyway, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hopefully I get another video put out soon. I kind of want to start putting out more more often. I don't have, obviously don't really have a set schedule. I'll probably be doing at least once on Sunday evenings and then randomly throughout the week. 
So appreciate y'all for hanging out tonight. As you guys know, I'm part of the Buy Forever family now. And of course, I do have a uh, Max 10. So shout out to Bones Deuce over at uh, twitch.tv slash Bones Deuce. Show him some love. Allow me to use Max 10 um, to help rebuild the Immortal Thieves. And we keep, a, keep an account over there. And if you guys haven't already, uh, check out our, our recruitment server for Immortal Thieves. We are building in the shadows at the moment. And yeah, trying to, trying to rebuild. Trying to show that you know we can still make that comeback and of course the buy forever family i'm now a streamer over here we will have the uh, recruitment server in the discord uh excuse me the recruitment discord in the uh, youtube link and we, yeah we're made up of, of quite a bit of clans in the family i do stream primarily for buy forever now i've got my main account there and i'm excited they've been super super welcoming and just a great group of of people to to war alongside so have a good night guys see y'all again soon